about your family? So when's the best time to start maximizing your nervous system and making, taking care of the spine? When would be the best time to do that? Now, even better, yesterday, right? If you were leaking money out of your bank account or overpaying a bill, wouldn't you want to find that out? Yesterday, right? If you're about to, you know, go on a road trip uh, in the desert and there was this much threat on your tire, when, you, when would you want to know that? Before. So when it comes to family, when do you think most of the, the falls, the slips, all those things that cause damage to the spine, when do you think most of that happened? When we were kids. And this thing, it goes all the way. Actually, st people say, well, how do this, how these subluxations get there? The real answer is, you know, if you were dying of thirst in the desert, you wouldn't ask, how'd you get thirsty? You just had to fix it. But it could be a multitude of things. It could be actually when you're just developing in the womb, right? Let's say you were stuck transversely. Your head was underneath the ribs. That happens. Were you a C-section baby? Were you a forcep baby? So you know there's trauma there. Even a long natural delivery. You know, if you're in labor and that baby's coming in, you know, traumatic natural birth, then sitting in car seats, laying down the heads like that. When, you, when we learn how to walk and your kids learn how to walk, you know, they fall hundreds of times a day and the diaper's about that thin. So imagine just, just, just drop on your butt 200, 300 times right now and see how that feels daily, right? Bumping their heads, kids doing crazy things. You have brothers or sisters when you were growing up or you have kids, brothers, you push, you know, they're fighting, doing those things. And then uh, later on, you know, sports, right? You're doing all these sports that causes injury. And then you have car accidents, maybe you guys from car accidents. So you see when we're younger and then today with kids, what are kids doing? A lot of schools don't have the lockers anymore, right? So kids are wearing these heavy backpacks, heavy, their heads like this, but come on. What are kids really doing today? They're, they're talking, they're annoying you, and you give them your phone to pacify them. So kids are like this, right? They're playing video games, they're on their phone, like this, totally shutting down all those areas in the body. And kids, when it comes to kids' health today, the elderly aren't the sickest population anymore, it's the children. Over 24 million children are on drugs for ADD, bipolar, you know, bipolar medication, depression. The number one cause of teenage death today is suicide. Think about that. Think about that. It didn't happen in your generation. It's happening today. Kids are being labeled. Kids are being over-medicated. And the thing is, we can do something about it. And so I don't know how your office is, but my, in my office, uh, personally, my requirement is someone can't be a patient unless their kids are also getting care. Because if you understood anything we talked about, chiropractic, if you understood about the, what health really is, brain to the body, any interference is causing any you know, dysfunction or, 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 or disease process. If you understand any of that, and your kids are your most precious things in your life, of course, of course your kids would be under care. So make sure all your kids are under care, all right? Get them checked first, see what's going on, and if there is something going on with your kid, it's not your fault, meaning it's not genetic, all right? So don't, don't play the genetic game. That's, that's, old, that's outside in medical model, trying to blame genetics. It's not genetics. You know, kids are born, you know, through us. They, they, they have the same universal forces, bumps, falls, but whatever's going on, the great thing about it is this, who do you th whose spine is easier to correct, an adult's or a child's? Child's, especially before, you know, 17, 18. So the, the two most important and the easiest to correct are going to be children, right? And when a mommy's pregnant, because what happens when you're pregnant, the ligaments get a little bit more lax. So your actual, your actual correction could happen just like it would with a child as well. So entire family gets checked. So dad, don't be stubborn or mom, if you're watching this, get dad involved. Because here's the thing, if don't martyr yourself. Don't say, and that's another thing where parents don't say, well, I'll get my kids taken care of and not, don't worry about me. No, 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 no. Everybody needs everybody. You know, I, I, my dad died when I was 21. You better believe I need him. I still need him today. You know, kids need dad, kids need mom, parents love their kids. So that's why it's a whole entire family thing. So if you're watching this, and your kids are not under care, first go to the office and say, I wanna get my kids checked right now. I wanna see what's going on. And then work with your office to get your kids under the plan as well. Great, and I'll see you guys next video.